Christians could be targeted by the government's new counter-extremism strategy. Theresa May's efforts to counter the, the, the ideology that underpins terrorist attacks could be misused to ensnare peaceful Christians who take issue with secularist ideologies. Many Britons now regard the claims of Christianity and even the person of Jesus Christ as representing extremism. It is even possible that our very faith in Christ on which this nation was built might become a focus of the government's counter-extremist agenda. Measures to counter extremism were included in the Queen's speech in 2017. Nearly a third of Britons think that Jesus was an extremist. Committed Christians are extreme only in their following of Christ and in all that contributes to the good of society and in how we are called to the extremes of charity, of virtue, of unswerving adherence to goodness and truth. There is a destructive extremism we ought to fear, one which seeks not only to undermine marriage and the family, but also the very identity of the human person as male and female, an extremism that is pushing for abortion as a human right, an extremism which demands euthanasia for the incurably sick and aged, an extremism which has no conscience about the destruction of human embryos. That is the extremism which really threatens the foundations of society. Of the 2,000 people recently polled, 13% thought that the Dalai Lama could be considered an extremist. 20% said that Gandhi could be considered an extremist. And 25% thought that Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela could be considered extremist. A total of 41% of those polls also said that people who believed that marriage was between one man and one woman were verging on extremism. However, 48 said that it was not extreme to give animals the same rights as human beings. It seems to me that if we don't fall in with these secular ideologies and their accompanying political correctness, we could all be considered extreme. The people pushing these ideologies would of course never consider themselves extreme in the least. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.